Well, Irvin, I, I have up this absolute utmost respect for her as a player, and 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 I'm so proud to know him. And he did the forward on the book I did with Larry Bird, and he was so you know happy and eager to do it, and and um, and I'm really grateful for that. Uh, I have nothing but the highest uh, regard for and and his game. And the way he got better and better, the fact that that he made himself into a reliable outside shooter, three point shooter. Um, I was present at the uh, at the famous Bird Magic NCAA final, and and what I remember about uh, in addition to that, not the game. I remember them into the semifinal game more in terms of the logistics of it, and that was that. Um, I think he went into that tournament wanting to show the pros, the scouts, they could shoot, and and he. He he took uh, a, a lot of outside shots in the semis against uh, uh, Penn, and I think he wanted to show them that that he could shoot, and he did. He made those shots. But I mean, what what can you say? I can still see him going coast to coast. When I think of certain people going coast to coast, I think of him. I think of Charles naturally, Barkley, uh, and but uh, Magic. I mean, Magic at his peak, doing that ball was and, and doing. And of course, let's get to it. The greatest individual game I have ever seen a player play, and, and count me among those who believe that that game six in Philadelphia, 1970, the 20 year old Magic Johnson, 42 points, 15 rebounds, seven assists, literally playing at one time or another, you know, all five, you know, spots and te- technically, and and it was talk about clutch. I can tell you this: after um, we uh, Kareem got hurt in, in game five, and and we knew he wasn't going to make the trip to Philly. And so game seven is going to be back in L.A. No one, we, we totally assumed we were going back to L.A. The only thing we were talking about in the media was where we're going to go for dinner when we get back to L.A. after game six. And Magic comes up and plays that game. Plus, I'm going to throw this one out. However, the greatest tidbit of that game is the sneakiest, quietest 37 points anyone ever scored by Jamal Wilkes. Everybody forgets that, Bob. Got Everybody. 37 points. Yeah. Just very quietly. Very, very unobtrusive. Uh, Bob, the last name on this list, you obviously 